Hello, welcome back to adding and subtracting rational expressions in algebra. We're on the home stretch. We've introduced the concept of rational expressions. We've done some problems where we've learned how to find the common denominator and add or subtract them. Now we're just going to increase the complexity a little bit. So we're doing the same process, just getting more practice with slightly more complicated problems. First problem, not too bad, is 1 over 2 times p times q to the fourth power. We'll add to that 2 over p to the third power, q to the second power. Now we have to add these. And if you've watched the last lesson, and you, you must, I'm, I insist that you watch the last lesson before doing this one, you know that we need a common denominator. But you look at this and you say, how am I going to find a common denominator? It looks so crazy. Well, take it one step at a time, and it will become second nature after a while. So the first expression, we're going to write it with a slightly long, longer fraction bar. And then we'll add to that the second one and with a slightly longer fraction bar. 3p cubed, q, p cubed, q squared. All right, so what we have here is we have a 2pq4. Now, we want a common denominator. We have to make them both the same. There's no way that I can multiply this by something to give me this. It's just not possible because I only have two q's here and four here. So what I have to do is look at what's common to both of them and figure out what to multiply by. So what you do is you say, well, I only have one p here and I have three of them here. So I know I'm going to have to multiply and give me two more p's. That'll give me a p cubed, right? Now, the two and the q to the fourth, I can't do anything with because I actually have less of them over here. So what I'll do is since I'm multiplying by p squared, I'll multiply the top by p squared. And then over here, I'm going to have to multiply to get the same thing. I'll have to multiply by two to give me this two. P is cubed over here, and I have P cubed here, but I have four Q's over here now, and only two of them over here. So I have to multiply this times Q squared. So I'll multiply the top by 2 Q squared. What you have to do is you have to look at what you're given in the first denominator, look at what you're given on the second denominator, and try to figure out the easiest, fastest way what you have to multiply each denominator by to give you the same denominator altogether. And since I only had one p here, but three of them here, I said, let me multiply and give me two more p's for this denominator. Then I go over here and say, well, I only had two q's here and I have four here, so I'm going to multiply this by two more q's, and again by the number two, so that at the end of the day, what I'm going to have is, for the numerator here, p squared, and on the bottom, what am I going to have? Two times p to the third power, q to the fourth power, because I can add these exponents, plus multiply this, I'm going to have 4q squared over, here I have 2p uh, cubed, the q's will add the exponents, 